Ladies and gentlemen, let me first of all the ceremony of the Mandela portrait by Jan Beekman. Welcome all of you and welcome, a special welcome to the Deputy Secretary General who could join us for this occasion. The Ambassador of South Africa, Dumi Kumisalu, good friend and colleague. The former Mayor of New York City, Mr. Dinkins, very much welcome. And of course, and I would have started there, Jan Beekman, the Belgian artist who made this fantastic portrait. And I would like indeed to start by expressing my most sincere gratitude to Mr. Beekman, because this, although it is officially a present of the Belgian state to the United Nations, in fact, it is a donation, it is a gift, it is a present of Mr. Beekman to the United Nations. <laughs> and, and if this present finds this unique location here in this way up to the Security Council that is also thanks to the fact that the UN Arts Committee has been very much cooperating with all of us in finding this place, in accepting this present at this time. So for all the members of the Arts Committee, thank you very much as well. I, I believe Mr. Bateman accurately captured the dignity and the personal strength of Mr. Mandela. And also the unique combination of self-conscious charisma and a deeply ingrained sense of political justice and tolerance, both elements which have proved key to his effectiveness as a leader in the transition. The Mandela portrait, this is not a portrait of Mandela, this is the Mandela portrait, is a special one and incorporates a lot of symbolisms. And those symbolisms refer indeed to the very values and principles for which this organization is known. Tolerance and respect for all mankind. This portrait reminds us of Mr. Mandela's ongoing struggle for human rights and racial equality. It highlights an important moment in history, the release of Mr. Mandela and the end of apartheid in South Africa. And I mention that specifically, and I would hope that Jan Beekman will come back to that point, because the moment of creation of this portrait is linked to a very specific place, a very specific hour, 4 a.m. in Chicago, that is the time that Mandela was released for prison. And at that time, they captured the picture, but that is for Jan uh, to tell us. So some may ask the question, 
what is this? Belgium, a Belgian artist offering the portrait of Mandela. And there the answer is very easy. Of course, Mandela was a man. He's a strong symbol of South Africa. But within his values, he also reflected humankind as a whole. And he was, in that sense, a kind of universal man, reflecting all those basic values of democracy, equality, justice, human rights, and perhaps, above all, dignity. Perhaps just a last word. The painting is a tribute to the world's strongest advocates for international peace. And this corridor is the way, as most of you know, from the UN entrance to the Security Council over there. And we thought this place was the very place where the portrait should be placed because it incarnates indeed his preoccupation and his engagement for peace all over the world. Thank you very much. Your Excellencies, Mr. Beckman and Madam Beckman, ladies and gentlemen, there are moments that remain riveted in memory forever. Nelson Mandela, otherwise known as prisoner 4664, walking out of Victor Vesta prison after 27 long years of imprisonment is one such occasion. Today, we gather here to immortalize that unforgettable day at the very headquarters of the United Nations. Of course, I have to admit that I was initially somewhat awed by the prospect of this installation. Most Africans of my generation retain a very strong association with Mr. Mandela's walk to freedom. I certainly have my own recollection of that moment and the indescribable emotions that it generated. I wondered whether it would be possible to have a piece of art reflect this reality. Fortunately, for most of us, Mr. Beckman has delivered. Thank you very much. This portrait captures both the dignity and tremendous personal strength of not just an African hero, but a true human treasure. I'm hopeful that each one of us will relate to this canvas in our own special way, using it as a launch pad for emotions and aspirations we all associate with Madiba, as he is so fondly known. Nelson Mandela's portrait carries broader significance as well, or we may call it the Mandela portrait. He is synonymous with some of the highest values of our organization, and indeed of all humanity, tolerance, equality, justice, and forgiveness. These values have helped forge a rainbow nation in South Africa, and they can help inspire a truly united nations here in this building. This is why I believe it could not hang in a better place. Its spot near the Security Council brings one of the world's foremost voices for peace and justice to the world's leading forum for international peace and security. I hope that having Nelson Mandela watching over us will help inspire us in our daily work for a better, more just world. After all, that would be the best tribute we can all pay to this great man. Thank you very much for your kind attention. It is not lost to me that the day the portrait of Nelson Mandela was hung up in the United Nations is the day that South Africa assumed the chairmanship or the presidency of the Security Council for the first time ever. So I, I stand before you as the president of the Security Council, tickled by the fact and uh, of it all that we 
who were once the subject of the Security Council, today we preside over it. <laughs> and, and, and it wouldn't have happened without Nelson Holitlatha Mandela, our beloved president. Well, when I, when I walked into the UN this morning, I thought about a story that President Mandela always tells. As you know, his inauguration was on 10 May 1994, and he tells a story that uh, after all the kings and queens and sheikhs and the important people had been there to celebrate with him his inauguration, and the motorcade took him back to the residence. And in the middle of the night, he woke up, he was alone, and he says, you know, I didn't know anyone I could call to say, what do I do as president? <laughs> and uh, fortunately for me, I had 15 other colleagues I could call. I, it, it is not an accident that the picture is uh, presented by Mr. Bigman to the United Nations of Belgium, we always knew that Mandela was not ours alone. Mandela belonged to the world. Indeed, even the struggle that freed Mandela, it was a struggle of the whole world. So it is perfect that today the photo that is given comes from Belgium, and for us, we celebrate in it. And the most amazing thing, I'm only seeing it now since I've been playing president on the other side of this wall, the most amazing thing about it is the eyes and how the eyes look and see what we couldn't see when we were weeping and broken down and in the police cells. We thought that was the end of the world. And Nelson Mandela, sitting on a rock in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, knew that 27 years were a temporary time just to wait there so that one day I can stand before you and say, as President of the Security Council of the United Nations, I am honored to be here. Thanks to Madiba. Thanks to Mr. Pickman. I'm just so pleased to have this opportunity. I, I look forward to seeing the portrait. I had no, no notion that I would be privileged to speak to this distinguished body. So uh, as African diplomats sometimes say, usual protocols observed, that means that all you important people have been acknowledged. <laughs> Mr. Beekman, uh, and that's your bride? <laughs> I have. I, I have a bride, 54 years come August. Uh, congratulations, congratulations. This is wonderful. As I, I listened to the eloquent speakers and I looked at the portrait, and I couldn't help but think of that day in 1990 when uh, Madiba descended the steps of the plane at JFK. Uh, what, what an emotional moment. And the most amazing thing about him is he's always the same. He stayed with us, with my wife and me at Gracie Mansion, and uh, he was the same whether he was playing with our children, our grandchildren, or responding to Ted Koppel, who <laughs> demanded of him, how come you did this? He said, they're the only one that helped us. And he went on to the next question, because that's the way he handles things. And, and what an amazing man. And I suppose that I say to people often that one day there'll be peace in the Middle East, in Northern Ireland, because of the example of what has been done by these amazing people, whites included, whites included, who uh, had the vision, the courage, the wisdom to bring us to this day. And so Madiba is, uh, He's my hero, of course, as each of us, I suppose, says that. But he truly is my hero, and, and God bless him. Thank you very much.
very short. Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen and friends, this is a great moment for me as an artist, but it's not about me. It's about Nelson Mandela. It's about him. He suffered and fought for things that I believe. I made this painting as an expression of hope, hope for Africa, hope for the world. Thank you for being here to share this event with me. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, again, thank you so much. I tell you that little moment. Perhaps, Jan, may I tell them? That little moment was the following. I don't recall the exact date. Do me just now. But what he told me is the following. It was announced. And at 4 AM in his apartment in Chicago, he watched Nelson Mandela coming out of prison. And he was so much impressed by the serenity, integrity, and dignity of the man coming after such an ordeal back to normal life, that this picture has been in his mind for all the time. And then he started working on this painting. He took the time necessary. And once it was finished, he thought it was too delicate an object ever to be exposed either in the United States or in Europe, where many other expositions were going on. So this tableau, this portrait, the Mandela portrait, has been sitting in one of the back rooms where he has been visiting quite often, just there because it was too cherished, it was too delicate a portrait to be exposed to the world at large. And now today, we have that extreme possibility, that extreme opportunity, that this cherished object is now full-blown coming at the only place where it could be exposed. And that's the United Nations for the symbols of peace, democracy, and justice. And that was the little story I would just share on behalf, I'm the spokesman here of Jan Beckman. <laughs> I must say that I, before I made this, I make 15 small little ones that I destroyed or don't find very good. So this is the end of 15 ones. That, so. so Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for your attendance. We very much appreciate it. We know that you're here not only for Belgium, not only for South Africa, for Nelson Mandela and everything which is behind that. Thank you again for your attendance. Thank you. 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 Karen, I admire you a great deal. You handle Thanks things so well. well. I've always wanted to thank you very much. Take a picture. She's a, 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 she's a,